Meanwhile, tenants of the Gateway Hotel in downtown El Paso are expected to have until Thursday to move out. The El Paso County attorney claims the hotel has become an issue with alleged human smuggling, gang activity, and other crime. On Monday, the judge deciding that the hotel should in fact be shut down. KTSM 9 News reporter Diana Castillo joins us live in downtown El Paso. And Diana, I guess, what does this order actually mean? Is it temporary? Is it permanent? What can you tell us? Well, Andy, right now this is a temporary injunction, which means the Gateway Hotel can technically operate once they postponed and meet certain conditions. But for now, the tenants are advised to move out by Thursday. Now, we're still waiting on a judge to sign off on that permanent order to shut down the hotel. The Gateway Hotel has been in downtown El Paso for decades now, and in recent years, it's become a place of concern. So at the Gateway, we had a lot of assaults. There were a lot of weapons, evidence of a lot of weapons, a lot of drug usage there. The Gateway has a reputation for being a place where there's prostitution that's occurring and that there's some gang activity that's happening. On Monday, the state of Texas argued in court that the Gateway Hotel knowingly tolerated this criminal activity and failed to take action. On top of the crime, there's some structural concerns like fire code violations and building code violations that have allegedly not been taken care of. A judge decided that the hotel should be shut down based on evidence and witness statements from police who have responded to frequent calls at the hotel the judge calling for a temporary injunction. The status, the status of the hotel is that it's open, but it will be shut down here in the next few days. We'll move out the people and then it should be empty until it's safe to habitate and they have restrictions in place that will keep the habitual criminal activity from occurring at the hotel. The owners will have to post bond, meet the conditions of the court to be able to operate. Now they have until the permanent injunction hearing in December to do so. The state will help rehome tenants living at the hotel. Now, Andy, it is important to note that there is a language barrier. The owner of the hotel is not a fluent English speaker, and they did not have an attorney representing them today. Now, the judge did let him know that he will need a court-appointed interpreter for December's hearing. Back to you.